Hey guys, so I was starting to think about sessions again and I didn't want to create my own library because I wanted to make sure it was secure and so I wanted to use one that had been battle tested and used before and tested and so I wanted to use this one right here so this is express session but with the default configuration there was one use case I was thinking about where I might have some trouble just using this by itself so this works really well if you just have, for example, um, one client, like a website or something. Um, but let's say you have a app and a desktop or a website, right? So let's say you create a session on the phone and you create a session on the website. Nowadays, users will be uh, using both, right? And you could expand this. Let's say you have an Alexa skill as well. That might be a third session. So a user could have multiple sessions open across multiple devices. So what I want to be able to do is let's say I log out of a session. Then I want to be logged out of all my sessions maybe. Now that might not be something you want to do for your application, but some applications want to do that. But even if you don't want that application or that uh, to be able to do that, you want some way to be able to find all sessions for a user. And the reason for that is it's very helpful to know all the sessions a user has because maybe you want to blacklist a user. For example, they were trying to break into an account or something or they did something bad. So then you're going to want to know all the sessions they have open so you can close them down. And by default with this one, uh, there's no way to store, for example, the user or query by the user because all you're doing is setting this by... Uh, the session ID so if you go over here uh, you can find like get so you can get a session ID but it's only by the session ID um, and then the session itself is just a JSON object so you can't really query the JSON object um, you can only basically get a session by the ID so there's really no way for the default session library to be able to get users so I was kind of bummed by that and I was thinking, how could I do this? Am I going to have to create my own session library where I was going to store this? And then I wanted to use Redis with the sessions to make really fast for querying and getting the sessions. And with that, you can only do a single key um, for storing things. Uh, but you can start getting to things where you can query by uh, multiple, uh, for example, kind of set up a secondary index which might be the user ID but then I would have to be you know creating this session library so I came up with a secondary solution that I like a little bit better and this is what I'm thinking about doing so I'm creating a second table or not a second table but a table in my database that looks like this so I'll be storing the session ID as a primary key and so every time I create a session I'm going to create it in my database as well. And when I create this session, I'm going to store the user ID and I'm also going to store when it expires. And now what this will allow me to do is I could do a database query whenever I want to, whenever I need to, and I can get all the sessions for a user. And I can get all the active sessions and I can also get all the expired sessions. Now I definitely want to set this up where I occasionally clean up the database and remove all the sessions that are expired so that's a particular reason why I'm storing the expiration date here so maybe on every create or maybe update um, maybe delete some kind of thing or maybe you set up a cron job I haven't decided what I want to do yet for example every day it'll go in and get rid of all the expired sessions but yeah this way um, in the database and you're not always going to be logging out a user right so the reason, I could have also just put the whole session itself in the database, but notice I didn't do that, right? So I don't have the session JSON itself. And maybe this is a mistake. Maybe it's best just to store the session in the database itself. Um, but the reason why I didn't want to do that, and I did like a split, right? So half of this is going to be in the database, half of it's going to be in Redis. Because you're frequently going to be fetching the Redis or the session and then less frequently are you going to need to know all the sessions for a user and so it's faster to do Redis since that's most of your things that you're going to be using for the database this might be just an occasional thing for example when the user logs out or if I have to ban a user that sort of thing which is less common 
but it's nice to have. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys, show you guys what I was thinking about for uh, sessions. So I'm still going to be using this library right here with Express um, and then setting up a database table to go along with this to keep track of all the users, um, the sessions they have. And let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, it may just be better to also store the session itself in the database, but I'm thinking it might be a little bit uh, performance-wise better to do it in Redis. And this way, if I'm storing in the database, um, I'll have to also express session. Um, I'll have to create a separate, I'll either not have to use this if I want to store the JSON in here, or uh, create two tables, which I don't really want to do. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.